Are we excellent. good? Everybody good? Yeah. I'm excellent. You're now tapped into What Kind of Party, episode 15. I had a question mark there real quick. I didn't know. <laughs> I was like, is this 15? <laughs> episode 15, we got reoccurring guests <laughs> back in the building. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> also we, fiance. Yeah. Also fiance. Yeah. We've been talking First about it. Now, yeah, she's uh, back since, on. Since, since being proposed to, right? Indeed. Wow. Weird. And we got my man. Paul in the building. My dog, what's happening? Chilling, man. Can't complain. Living life. Love it. Everybody feeling good. Everybody feeling great on this Friday after night. <laughs> Friday mm-hmm. night. Friday yes, after sir. night. Mm-hmm. After after night. After, after party. Night. After party. <laughs> Word. So we start every episode. What's our mental? We're checking in. Mm-hmm. One through ten. Simone, you can go first. Go ahead, Simone. Um, I don't know what my mental was last week. We're, so we're breaking the loop. That. We're breaking the loop. I am an eight today. Eight today? Yeah. Eight point zero. Yeah. Things are just going eight point good. zero. Right. What do you, why are you feeling eight point zero? I'm just feeling good about things and life. Things in the future. Things right now. Things what's right going now on? Now and in the future. Love uh, that. Yeah. Love that. Just a yeah. solid eight. Solid eight. <laughs> you seem so happy about that <laughs> eight. I'm a solid <laughs> You're so excited about that. Mm-hmm. I am. Love it. Paul, what you feeling? One through ten, everything that's going on in life. Uh, nine point five. Nine point wow. five. Ooh, we feeling big. Why are we feeling big right now? What's going on? Got paid. Tax money. Yeah. <laughs> Bank account looking healthy. Love I gotta that. do that. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. I actually yeah. have to do that. It's crazy. I got my taxes back in like a week. Really? Yeah. Turbo tax at oh, work. I was on break. Wow. I got it back in a week. That Love fast. that. Yeah. So you know, treat myself to some gifts. Nice. <laughs> I know you. I was just talking to you before. You got a, you got your shit. You got a crib. Yeah, man, I'm chilling. Better say, cause I haven't seen you in a minute. Yeah, you're nah, like, you know, I'm doing good. Nah, it's cool. Like, um, where I'm living now, I'm just taking day by day. It's like every once in a while, it's a little bit of a struggle trying to figure it out, but you make do. Love another that. Another day alive is another day. Exactly. Yeah, Love it. Weird. How you feeling? Back on the. What were you last time you were on the pod? I. That was so long ago. I wasn't a fiance I don't remember the back last then. time you were on the pod. <laughs> you weren't. I don't remember either. I think it was Kevin. No. Yeah. Yes, because it was Amanda and then Kevin. Oh, maybe it was. So it was Kevin. Wow, Mike. Yeah, wow, that was good. Memory. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's locked in. <laughs> um, I don't remember what it was then, but now I would say like a 9.2. Ooh, why are we at 9.2? That's a great number. Um, well, I'm very happy for obvious reasons. <laughs> um, <laughs> Better like I also am working days now. Ooh, you know you're a normal person. Sure. I'm not a normal person. That. And I just feel good to be on track with the rest of the world. Love that. Mm-hmm. All these things are good things. Mm-hmm. Great things. Good Everybody's things. Everybody's feeling great things. You know what's funny too? Last episode, because I did the edits and shit, I'm like, damn, I didn't say what I my thing was, but I'm literally the same every week. So mm-hmm. it does not matter if I say it or not, because I am still coasting. I'm still living life. So still a 9-3, still here. I feel like I've been going will nine. Will Michael to nine ever three. change? I honestly, I was thinking, I'm like, yo, will I? Like, what's gonna happen? Like, I'm not. I don't yeah. want it to happen, but like, no one ever wants it to happen. Eight, you know? eight point nine is a rough week. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Michael was a seven with the GC yeah. thing, so I can only imagine. <laughs> Word. All right, so let's get into Paul. Paul, bro, I haven't seen him in so long, and I want to get into from you because you have your own brand and I saw you just drop something too which is like a perfect time to have you on yes, but I want to get into the start of you starting your own brand because you had it for a minute now when, when did you start that it's been like it was in high school so like I want to say like 2000 2009 2010 I started thinking up like it was just random stuff I took graphic design classes in in school and try to like figure something out figure out my niche and it's always like doodling in class like mm-hmm. Fun fact, I got left back my senior year, so it was like, a lot of times it was spent drawing in my notebooks, and not paying attention to anything that was going on, <laughs> history class, none of that, like, it wasn't for me, so coming out of school, it was trying to find a way to, like, make use of that, like, the, all the time that I did spend in high school, and I finally made it out, like, what I found passion in, like, a lot of people went to college for business degrees, went for their associates, and it was just like... I was trying to find my niche, and my niche was art. But realistically, at the time, it's like, how do you go to college for art and make something of it? So it's like I had to hit home for myself and just design out my own thing and try to run with it from there. Word. Did you when you started though? Like, did you see like you were like, I'm starting a clothing brand. This is what I'm doing. Or you just like, I want to just do art, like some form of art. So the way my brain is wired, 
it's always into the art piece of everything. So, yes, I want to make money out of it. I want to make something that would, like, run on, something I could wear as well. Because, like, at the time, like, as you guys know, I have a big family. So my parents weren't looking to always invest in the name brand stuff that people were wearing at the time. Like, Word. back in high school, I don't know if you remember, but, like, Slow Bucks, T-shirt with the snail in the front of it that uh, <laughs> Joel Santana, all of them were wearing. Word. Like, that was the stuff that people were wearing in school. Yeah. And it was just like, oh, my parents aren't buying that. Word. Like, I'm not going to catch them online trying to get this for me. Like, mm-hmm. what do you spend $40 on a t-shirt for when Sears is down Word. in Middletown? Mm-hmm. So it was like, <laughs> I had to find my own way and like create that. And Word. that was my brand. I love that. When did you, so from now, from then, what was like, did you change anything in your brand? Like, what was like the difference from now to then? So back then, I don't know if you know the brand Bintro. Maybe. So Bintro is <laughs> a streetwear brand. Um, ASAP War, it was like, they did like the hashtags with the slime um, dripping print on it and everything like that. So I, I kind of took inspiration from that and made a brand called Been Original. Because essentially at the time, like, I was going to school, I had the fro, I had the bandanas tied around my hair, ripped jeans, like, doing a bunch of crazy stuff with my clothing at the time. So it was like, okay, what am I going to call my brand? But Been Original. Because that, that was That's me. Dope. I remember that. I know. I I know. You were killing it. I remember, like, in, in high school and shit. So I remember like, that shit. And it was crazy. I was buying, like, Hanes t-shirts from Walmart in a pack mm-hmm. and using, like, the, um, what's the paper company? You could, like, you could print stuff on your inkjet printer yeah, yeah, yeah. and add it onto the shirt. I, I was doing stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Word. And I was wearing it. And when that was when Instagram was, like, first hot, I had an Android. So, like, it came out, like, months after it came out for <laughs> iPhone. And I was posting pictures of me, like, in the hallways of high school. Like, Word. my fro, American flag yeah. runner, yeah. Yeah, like, Frank Ocean. And Word. had my Hanes t-shirt with my little iron on. <laughs> I love that. Word. No, I was, like, thinking about it, too. I'm like, how did you, like, make it, like, do of it? Because, like, but you just said, you know, buying shirts this way. I'm like, how did you go about, like, yo, not only I want to start it, but I'm going to get all the materials for it, too. Like, was there, like, was it just you or did you, like, have help other people, like, so not so like, to be honest, it was just me for a while. Like I had my boy Aaron that we worked with together at um, Wendy's, and we used to talk through stuff because we both had like the passion to want to do fashion, and we just always bounced ideas off of each other. And then it got to the point where I was like, I I have the computer part of this. Like my dad was into computers for the longest when I was growing up. So like me trying to learn that stuff and apply it, and then YouTube before all the ads and everything like that was a bigger source than like it was small at the time, but like. That was a big help yeah. during the time because, like, okay, that's how I learned how to do stuff. You figure it out. You go to Michael's. You look for the supplies. You go to Staples and get the printing stuff. You get the inkjet printer. My parents used to like, make a big fuss about me using it because ink was so expensive. So <laughs> like, you may do. And then sometimes you go to the computer lab and you print some stuff and you bring it home and you iron on at, at home. <laughs> Wow. So it was like, you just have to figure out a way. Like, when there's a will, there's a way. When there's a will, there is a way, mm-hmm. indeed. It's like her hustling. I had no idea. No, I love it. That. Look, for, I don't know if you guys remember, back in like, it's like, what, seventh, eighth grade when I used to sell the candy on Malacca? <laughs> <laughs> they used to do the, um, what was it? They used to do the, like, the, uh, what's the music class? For, co- for course. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Do candy for that. Mm-hmm. I used to go buy a Ziploc from ShopRite, fill it with candy <laughs> from Sam's Club, and Word. pretend that I was selling candy for that. <gasps> Love so that. So no teacher was saying. Why do I think I remember that? Dick? I remember there being like another candy <laughs> thing, like a candy scam. That is like so smart, actually. <laughs> it is brilliant. Yeah, no, like, it's mad smart. Because it's like it was a like Gertrude Hark that like. That was like These the chorus, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, 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 I remember and that. He's like, you're like, nah, you want the Hershey's, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Much better trench coat. Like, yeah, they have like, much yeah. better yeah. options. The option. They were selling yeah. packs of gum at one point. Yeah. Yeah. You go to, at the time, you used to go to Sam's Club and get the flavors. And yeah. You go crazy wow. in the whole world. Like, <laughs> you hit the streets I hard. Do. Yeah, bro. I remember that. Oh, that's <laughs> smart. Mad smart. I remember that. I remember for prom, too. The streets of Chester Academy. trapping out Nodos class. Yo, oh, my God. God. Yo, throw that was the bando the for the bando. <laughs> the bando. Yeah, I remember I did the same shit for prom. I remember we had like bags where like you can sell whatever and you get like your prom ticket for free. So like right. I would get all the good candies. I was like trying to like trade and shit. I'm like, I would mm. then I was go to Harris's room and be like, let me see all the candy you have. Give him all the whack candy that no one buys and take all the good well, ones. Like, was a scammer need. of his own. Mm-hmm. I wasn't like scammer for money though. I was scamming to like sell more. <laughs> like I'm trying to That's flex smart. these out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I don't want the whack candies that no one's gonna buy. I want all the fucking good shit. Give me the mm-hmm. Kit Kats. Give me the Reese's. Give me all the good ones. I don't want that dumb shit. That's <laughs> Best sellers only. Mm-hmm. That, that's it. You guys, you can't make it if you ain't selling. Right. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's right? But right. I was like, basically, like the like that was like a stepping stone to like me doing my own t-shirts and selling that, and just like the momentum and like the hustle mentality. Like, I'm gonna make the product. I'm gonna sell the product, but like also put passion into it while I'm doing it. So like, 
it went from been original to now I call it Persona. Um, to the point where I have it tatted on my arm. Stop. Love it. I love the commitment. Stop. We do $70 Mexican tattoos. <laughs> Where'd you get it at? Oh. Mexico. Love awesome. it. Awesome. Love um, it. That's actually, fine. me, Jay, my girlfriend, Michelle, Jay's whole family, we all went to Mexico for, um, back in September mm -hmm. for his sister's Amber's birthday. And um, we saw a tattoo parlor. We like, let's get it. <laughs> wow. So I pierced my nose after all these years and then tatted my arm up. But, like, love it. This was like my declaration saying, like, I'm gonna do this. I'm doing yeah. it. This I love it. Part of you. That's yes, fire. Wow. Good shit. When when you first started to now, like, what was like a, a difficult that you had or like a downfall? Cause, like, did you stay consistent that whole time, or did, was there a time that you like dropped off? You're like, I'm done for a little bit. So to this day, I still drop off. Like, to be honest, Jay, he's on my ass about it all the time. He's like, That's bro, good. you know how to do this. I watch <laughs> you do it all the time. Like, why are you not doing it, bro? You need that shit. Word. He's like. The, them shirts is fire. I saw them on fire. I need that. He I was in here promoting it. you when he was on the he pod. Was. You know? I love it. I love yeah, it. That's how it is. It's like that's like that's my family. So it's like mm. at the end of the day, like my parents show me love when I, and what I do, and I show them the stuff that I do, and like the interaction that I have off the networking. But like, he's on my ass. He's like, Yo, bro, you slacking. You got this. Why are you acting like this? And then it's like then you have to be your own, your own hype man too. So it's like Word. when I make something. I'm in the house like, yeah, God, this is the one right here. I love that. I love that. So it's like, I try to get my samples in. I look at the product. I'm like, all right, I'm with this one. I'm not with this one. I have to tweak this a little bit. And then now it's just about, like, I'm trying to really build my network. So going around, meeting people. Like, we've been on trips before. Like, me and Jay went to California. And all the people I met during that trip, it was like, how am I not doing this already? Word. Like, why, why do I ever drop <laughs> off? Because, like. I'm meeting these people, and these people come to me like, hey, can you take a picture for this magazine? Like, I've been in Word. StockX already. I've been in, um, what was it, Complex? They had featured me in their Best Dress. Wow. Like, I've had a couple of big features okay. while That's being dope. on trips, like small little weekend trips. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, why am I not doing this? Yeah, that, like, so why aren't you doing Yeah, why aren't what's you? Up, Tell bro? me what's going so on. To be honest, I'm my own biggest roadblock. Mm, I know. Like, <laughs> yeah. Because, like I, like, I moved out, got mm -hmm. the apartment, and now I was just trying to manage that, and... No one wants to go back home to their parents. So it's yeah. like, I'm trying to stay afloat with that. Mm -hmm. And to make clothes, it takes money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then, like, I do, like, let's say I do the pre-orders for stuff, right? The intent of doing the pre-orders is to try, to try to build up some momentum so I don't really have to invest too much of my own into it. Mm -hmm. But then people are like, they hold off, they wait. <clears throat> but then the minute, like, months will go by after I make a shirt, and people are like, yo, bro, I've been wanting a shirt. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I've been posting late. Like, <laughs> it's been up for months. Like, what's up? Like, Six months ago. <laughs> Like I ran to somebody in Starbucks the other day, and they're like, yo, bro, I've been wanting a shirt. Like, can I get one? And I reposted, and they bought it recently. But I'm like, I've been selling this shirt for almost a year now. <laughs> I got them in my trunk. I got them sitting in my apartment right the place. now if you need that shit. Like, I have, to, I have this whole stuff in the corner of my room where it's, like, all the stuff that I design. Like, I have a custom-made rug for my brand. I have um, a mannequin that my girlfriend bought me with the shirt on and everything like that. When I take selfies, my merch is always in the selfie. <laughs> you can hit me up like, yo, can I cop one? People always ask me for the rug. Like, yo, I want that rug. <laughs> Bro, I got t-shirts at $25. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my That's goodness. Funny. But it's just yeah, like, the consistency piece is what I have to work on. Word. Just like really like grinding it out. Like I said, like with the candy, like hit the block hard. Mm. Word. And just not fall back on that. Because like I said, I go on these trips. I talk to these people and they're like, yo, like. You should, when you come out here again, let me know. Like, hit me up. Like, I've been in rooms where I shouldn't have been around certain people, and mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm not applying that. Word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like I said, I'm my biggest. I'm my own biggest roadblock. But 2022, it's a different year. Yeah, you're gonna it kill is. it. You're gonna it's kill it this year. That's a fact. I love it. Where's Where's so like obviously anything can happen, anything at any time. But what's that end goal? Not end goal, but what's that like major goal you want to hit? I definitely. So I have plans. To, I got invited to a fashion show this year in Newburgh. And then I'm going to be doing a bunch of um, <coughs> pop-ups and events this year. So my plan is to really just set up shop in all these different conventions and push the brand to people who don't even know me. Love that. Um, it's definitely harder to sell to somebody you know. For sure. But mm -hmm. when you have a stranger that they don't know your backstory, they don't know anything about you, they just know your product, they see quality in that and they're off the strength of that, they're, just, they're buying. Word. So this year is going to be the, the grind year to really go out there and push my product to to the rest of the world love that word do you want to do more than like just merch do you want to do it like i know you're saying like you want to do pictures you do pictures and shit like that so is that something you want to pursue as well like with that bro anything in my hands on. <laughs> I, like literally i just i have my own apartment now so like 
I just have a whole <coughs> photography like studio in the apartment. Word. Like I have my kitchen. I'm converting it into like backdrop lights, mm-hmm. everything. Like Love anyone that. can pull up and get their picture taken. <laughs> I have um, in the corner of my bedroom next to my bed. I have my whole like expensive ass computer set up where half time playing games on it, but I'm grinding out doing graphic yeah. work on there. Word. People who do like have their own brands. They come to me for their logo work. They come to me for like their Twitch account logos and. I do it all, bro. Love it. I love it. I love that you can just, like, venture out. It's, like, so dope to think, like, it's, like, I'm not just one thing. I can, you know, I can do more. So I actually had a conversation with this woman. I went to go print some shirts with this place in, I think, Newburgh. And speaking to her, I said to her, like, hey, I want to get some screens made. I know you guys don't sell those, but, like, if you take the chance to me, like, I would really like to invest in that. And she's like, you know what? Like, from the conversation we had, you seem like a nice person. Like, I want to get you into the factory so you can see it and we can take that route. And... I explained to like my intent with all this is I want to learn every process. I may not do every process, but I want to know what the whole entire picture looks like because when you're calling the shots on the whole project as a whole, you want to know where it hits on each part. Who's making it, where they're sourcing the product from, how it's cut, what it looks like in the final process, how you put the stuff online because at the end of the day, like if you have the full knowledge of it, you can speak value into each piece of it. So I can say, hey, like, this t-shirt is gonna be designed this way, so when I go to hit the internet with it, it's gonna look this way on Instagram. Mm. Like then you can kind of tweak the concept of stuff a little bit, like more than just the face value of it. Word, mm. I love that. Well, I, I love the whole vision. It's so dope. Everything about it is dope. Yeah. How you feeling over there? I'm chilling, <laughs> <laughs> listening. Yeah. I know you always just listen and just feeling out. I smoked. I did a bad. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Simone, Simone, Simone. <laughs> Do you feel like, like you've felt like mainly support, like around you, or do you feel like people have been maybe like questioning you or like? Great question. So, the, I'm very big on confidence. Mm-hmm. If you're confident, no one's gonna question you. Yeah. So it's like if you go into things like, like a lot of times I go to these events and like I, in my head, my mindset is I'm the best dress here. Ah. What I'm cooking up right now is nothing but fire. And if you keep that mindset, people feel that energy off you and they read it, and then that's all they can say. Yeah. That is so that. true. No, it's all mentality. Seriously, it's like, if, and I, it's so key. 100%. And like, even like now, like when I tell like Scott, like when you're playing sports or anything, like even if you have LeBron James on the court, you're the best on the court. You got to think, like if you yeah. go on the court and be like, oh, all these people are better than me, you're not going to perform good. But like yeah. if you go out there and be like, nah. It's like mentality. I don't mm-hmm. care who you are. I'm better. Like, yeah. not cocky. I'm just confident in myself type shit. Mm-hmm. Right. I love that. Yeah. That's, that's a great approach. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, the, so the, the reason why I switched the brand from been original to Persona, Persona, the textbook definition is the characters that you carry, like, your personality, who you are, and I'm very big on that. Mm. I don't allow anyone to speak ill in my name. Mm-hmm. Love it. So it's... Yeah, I want my clothing to embody that. Like, I want people to wear my shirts and say, okay, I get where he was coming from and why this makes sense to his brand. Mm-hmm. I get why he has it tatted on him. Yeah, yeah. That's so dope. That's hard. I love it. Do you feel like you've encountered, like, because I feel like, like, the any, like, creative, like, art, music industries, yeah. like, I feel like they're very, like, people can be, like, manipulative. Like, have you, like, encountered, like, experiences where you've been, like, fucked over essentially like yeah yeah so like outside of the clothing part of it it's like designing for people mm-hmm. when i go into the graphic work and other people from other brands want to have stuff made for them mm-hmm. logo work and whatever the case be when they think that certain things will be for free or when they like oh just send me the file bro and i got you on mm-hmm. this day and then you're waiting four weeks for the mm-hmm. money and it's like bro it was 25 dollars like right. you could have <laughs> sent me that like, yeah or right. you'd be on instagram with bottle 1942 yeah like i see you like, <laughs> i'm out here so it's like bro you could have <laughs> given my 25 like yeah. quick zell or something oh, like, <laughs> so it's like a lot of time like once again jb on my ass i'm like bro i don't want to work for anybody like i'm over yeah. this like keep over here trying to make quick bread off yeah, me or whatever yeah, the case yeah. be i'm like He's like, bro, stop working with these these yeah, people yeah. over here. Like, really mess with people who want to make their money and they're gonna go about the legitimate way. So it's like, mm-hmm. like even like now I'm starting to build a um, uh, stylist like image so people can hire me to either personal shop for them, style them for mm-hmm. events and occasions stuff like that. And a lot of times I source my customers from my job. 
and doing that like it's always older people or it's the wife whose husband can't dress or yeah. next to me like <laughs> me they're like, she's Paul. gonna have to go through that <laughs> I'm in a crew neck and fucking dusty ass shoes I'm gonna call Paul <laughs> I'm gonna call you Paul <laughs> so it's like I now I know who to deal with because like at mm-hmm. work I work for Theory and like working for them when I mean, people have money they come in and it's just one two three like they know what they want it's a sixty dollar plain T shirt. I get my T shirts from Walmart. They come in here like sixty dollars. That's a great deal. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like you know who the audience is you want to sell to, and mm-hmm. that's how you have to just keep maintain that. Like love that. Every once in a while you um, vary from that path, but always the same group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Target audience. Business. Yeah, no, it's good. I love it. Yo, shout out to Jay. That's shout fire. Out to Jay. Matt's oh my god. Yo, shout out to Jay. Shout out to Jay. Yeah. Go back to episode 10 and watch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two tens on a ten. Two tens. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Receipts and everything. You know the date that we did it too? Actually, it was... <laughs> <laughs> Yo! That's funny. that's funny. No, I feel like having support, especially like when you're doing something that's not like, you know, like your business mm-hmm. or like, like, you know, things like... Not normal people, but you know, like just, Out you know. of convention. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You definitely. need that support behind you yes so it's hard for people That's to get great. behind things that they don't understand so they'd yeah. rather just mock it or ignore yeah. it 100 yeah. percent. i feel like i'm guilty of that too though i feel like everyone is like I mean, if you don't understand degree, it it's just course, like everybody's a, judgmental 100 percent. you know which isn't a bad this thing but like gotta keep pushing yeah but like i it's it's refreshing to see people like follow like what they actually feel like is right yeah for them because yeah. like me personally i i don't feel like i'm like very creative so obviously like you know not for me but you know you too. <laughs> like, it kind of, it, it comes in your aura. Like, it's just a part of who you are. And, like, for you to not, like, at least try to fulfill that, I feel like would be, yeah. you know. I, feel, I think everybody has a bit of creation they in them. They definitely do. And it's funny because I was talking to DJ about this the other day. And, like, I don't know, because I was thinking about, like, well, what would DJ be creative with or whatever. <laughs> but, like, the way that he tells stories and, like, the same with you. Like, yeah. the way that you tell stories, make jokes, like, your presence of, like, words Mm -hmm. is just amazing like you're an amazing storyteller but that would be like your from my perspective yeah. you're don't like, cat when she be telling stories she be laughing halfway <laughs> the whole story I know, but every girl, story girl, she girl, tells she gets a joke off like you know <laughs> when like, she gets tell me the she's joke not off. creative though in that <laughs> way like <laughs> yeah. am I wrong no you're not wrong oh, but yeah. when yeah. she gets the joke off yes, is I know. the key <laughs> yeah it takes her 45 Alyssa wants to tell a story we gotta get through 45 minutes of this and then we get the story and then you're like oh that was funny exactly I can't actually get there. Because I know it's going to be so funny, but I can't get That's it That's how I'm a girlfriend. Really? I'm like, I feel that. so what was the uh, who, what, when, <laughs> where, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's dumb funny. It took her so Wow, that is hilarious. I appreciate that. All right, let's get into some would you rathers. Let's, I, I need to start pulling these up, like, beforehand. But it's right here. I can yeah, get it. Yeah, you're wasting quick. everybody's time. Wasting so. mad time. Yeah, Come shout on. Shout out to Field Day. Right, Kat? Shout out to Field Day. Shout out to Field Day. How's your snow day? Snow day hitting. It's that vanilla chai. What are you talking about? A little Starbucks drink. <laughs> Imagine Starbucks drink. Nah, let me start. <laughs> <laughs> my earring fell out. All right. You guys ready for this? No, my earring fell out. Oh, Simone. You're wasting Hi. all this time. I know. You good? No. I'm gonna I'm gonna say <laughs> no. it anyway. You're gonna figure it out. Do you have your back and all that, or are you just uh? Yeah, I'm all right, good. you're good. <laughs> all right. All right. Would you rather change the world, but not your loved ones, or only change your loved ones for the better? Does that make sense? Did I say that right? Change the world, but not. You're changing the world for better, but not your loved ones, or you're changing your loved ones and not the world. So it's like big scale, little scale. Type yeah, of kind of thing. Does that make sense? I already Ooh. got it. Does mm-hmm. that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think I'd change the world, right? Because they'd just like catch up, mustard. No, but they would be. The <laughs> <laughs> you too. <laughs> Can we get the podcast? <laughs> We're done. You're done. I don't like that. <laughs> no? <laughs> I, I feel like selfishly, obviously, I would say my family, my loved ones. But like for the betterment of the world. <laughs> Fuck the world. <laughs> 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 fuck the human population, bro. What? <laughs> I don't give a fuck about y'all. Mm. I like you guys. You know? So you're saying like... Yo, I love ones. End world hunger or like... I, I, I feel like it's just more than just world hunger. I feel like just bettering the world. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. But like when you think of like the your loved ones, <laughs> the whole the, wide world. The whole wide world. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like you think about it, like you do better for the whole world. It's like, all right, that's great. But like everyone, everyone that you like, your loved ones are gonna be suffering. Why are they suffering? Are they They're suffering? not good. That's the whole point. Well, you, you can improve them for the better, man. It doesn't mean that. But the point you know, of the question. Be, no, the point of the question. mouth, mediocre. No, you cannot. We can accept them. You can't them. turn the question and say, no, they're all right. That, that defeats the purpose of the question. You could, be, yeah, they're so, all right. You could better them from being all right. They could be great. No, they're bad. That's the point of the question. Read the question hmm. again. I read it wrong, and I'm going to read it wrong again. It's gonna, <laughs> me reading it is going to make it more confusing. <laughs> but I, I feel like the point of the, the question itself. Are you going to read it again? All right, let me try to read it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, we don't. Would you rather change the world, but not your loved ones, or only change your loved ones, but not the world? Or for the, it says for the better, but not. Where was the for the better? At the end? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What better. do you have an answer? Yeah, no, I got one. So <laughs> thank you, Paul. <laughs> thank you, Paul. For real. So I better call Paul. <laughs> it might be selfish, but I'm definitely changing my family because mm. I always talk about like one day I want to have a girl, I want to have a little <coughs> little daughter, mm-hmm. and Brooklyn Janae. And <laughs> wow, the whole name picked out already. And Love my I want to like, I'm hoping that I get myself together where I can put forth the life of my children that they can do better for us. Mm. Cause at one point like we're not gonna be here, so like if they can hold it down, where like something they do is impactful for the rest of the world, like mm-hmm. you can really change. So that's me thinking big. Like I hope ah. my family is out here, like Word. really big stuff in when mm. I'm gone. So yeah. that's a good That'd way to, to that, see it. That's that's it's kind like, of you said it so much better than how I was trying to say it. Cause it's like you think yeah. about like that's what you want, and like say if you fix the world, you can still have a daughter, and your daughter's gonna be like not in a good spot because you fixed the world. So it's like the reverse to that. Hmm. It's like, wow, everyone else is living great, but the people that I love and the people that I don't care for yeah. are going to be living not great. My family is my world. <laughs> but, like, obviously it's, like, selfish to say. Yeah. But the world is selfish. I don't give a fuck. But think about it like this, what though. The wow. Martin Luther King had a dad, right? Mm-hmm. His dad might have been like, yo, I hope my kids are good. Like, I'm going to instill them everything I possibly can going into this. And then the day that I'm out of this picture, I hope he does something different. And look over here now. Goosebumps. Indeed he did. Wow. Indeed he did. And that was That's some random guy, like mm-hmm. a random reverend. Like, mm-hmm. So it's like, who knows? <clears throat> the next big figure is a byproduct of one of us. Word. Wow. Or if I fix the world, everyone's going to be better. Someone's wow. still fixing the world? You don't give a fuck about your loved ones? You want to see us fail? So you clearly no. do not no. care about me. <laughs> I do. I care about you guys so much, so that I know that you'll figure it out on your own. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> when yeah. I fix the world. <laughs> yeah, I see both ends. Yeah, no, I see both. I mean, there's you know, it's either being selfish or not being selfish. It's but not I don't know if it's selfish. selfish. If I pick my my loved ones, that's so selfish to the whole world. Like I can better the whole world, and but, I'm just like, nah, fuck like you guys. Like Paul said, like, like. He's gonna produce a child so good, so great that like the world's gonna be better. But does Paul have control over that? Yes, he has control over the whole world being better. (laughs) So I don't have direct control, but like of your daughter being a good person. It's what you instill. Looks like my parents, for example, like Mm -hmm. they never always hit the nail on the head. Mm -hmm. But the thing that they've taught me, like I know how to hustle Mm -hmm. for the rest of my life. Like they, my dad forced that into my mind. Like this, you're always gonna have money. Mm-hmm. Whether you think you're down and out, you're always going to have money. Mm-hmm. Whether it be me selling duct tape wallets, whether it's me... Oh, fuck y'all, I remember that too! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Candy out the locker. Yeah. If it's me making somebody's tickets for something or like album covers, mixtape covers, whatever. Like, wow, what wow. a TBT. Yo, Paul's really been out here in this creative that, game for yeah, like no, that does He's the OG been. creative. No, I felt like that's a Raven. Sure. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I you could t- t- like, I was looking at pictures. My brother, like I said, he's 13. And he sent me a picture the other day from the library. I'm like, wait a minute. I made that when I was like 16 years old. Oh, one of the and murals, right? Three. I have two murals in the school. And then I have those uh, picture hanging up in the library that I painted for, I think, Mrs. P. Aww. And it's like crazy thing. Like, I'm going to be, what, 28 this year. Mm. That's been there for almost 10 plus that years. That is crazy to think about. Yeah, ain't that something? That is wow. dope, though. And someone might see that and be like, I'm going to do something different yeah. because of that. And that's how you change the world? But I love Why that mentality. <laughs> I love that, that mentality. That's so sweet. Wow. That's so true. 
No, but it really is so true. Like, you don't know how you can impact it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that one little thing. It's got to be That itself. ripple effect. It's a fact. Keep yeah. being you, Paul. It's a fact. <laughs> it's a fact. All right, let's get into the next one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> let's do it. All right. Oh, this is pretty good. Would you rather go into the past and meet your ancestors or go into the future and meet your great, great grandchildren? Aww. <laughs> I think I'm going to meet my ancestors. That's a fact. Yeah, I think I might pick that yeah. too, to be honest. Let's see what was going on back yeah. then. Yeah, but, that was in the water. Uh, yeah, but meeting my little grandchildren, like where, where did I go after I passed away? Where did my family tree yeah, go after I left? That's pretty dope to see as well. Mm. That's great. I've been thinking about this a lot lately. <laughs> like, what life looks like when I'm not in the picture. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what is the service like? Like, I had to go to a wake a couple weeks ago. And I'm like, it's crazy to think. Like, people are standing over your body. Like, your mm-hmm. spirit is wherever it is. But it's like, what does that look like for us? That shit is crazy to think about. It's crazy. It's like the whole, like, wow. afterlife and all that shit. Like, That's what like, happens when life progresses after us. Mm-hmm. Shit is crazy. And they're like, like I'm a very religious person, but like, then you think about science, it's like, okay, well, the world, the Earth has only this much life to it, and it's like, years from now, does the world not exist anymore, mm-hmm. or like, okay. are people chilling on hoverboards? Like, <laughs> it really is such I'm a harsh. crazy, like, interesting, like, conversation to have, because like you said, you're religious, and I feel like we've talked about this too. Like, a lot of the afterlife has to do with like religion and shit. I don't even want to get too deep in it, but like. It's just crazy it's to think about pod. it like that. Why not? I know. <laughs> Why we can have a whole. We, what we can have in the afterlife, po- We can that has have a whole pod about that though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a whole pod. That's a, yeah. like that's getting really deep into it. I feel like I just yeah. can't get into that it's right just now. Crazy. I remember like this is not afterlife, but like beginning of life when I was in my first like A and P class in college, we were learning about like um, development of like you know the human body like in the embryo, and. They were saying, like, at, like, week seven, you know, like, the heart begins to beat. And, like, I raised my hand, and I was like, what, like, makes it start? Like, mm-hmm. what's that Where's spark? Where's the turnover? Yeah. yeah. And he's like, well, that's where, where religion comes into play. And I was like, no way there's no answer. <laughs> they don't know what just makes your heart just boom, boom, boom. For however many years it keeps going. That's Yo! wild to me. That's <laughs> so insane. Tingle. Mm. We're gonna have a whole mm. fucking That's podcast so wild. on this. And like, I really do. I wanna have a whole episode about this. Uh, it's just it's just insane. That oh. is crazy. Just ponder the afterlife. It's just so weird. <laughs> weird. And then, I'll like, be an afterpod. Ponder the ah! afterlife. <laughs> it's so crazy. And like now like like because I work in labor and delivery now and seeing like like when the baby pops out, it's like, oh, like time of birth, like whatever, ten ten. It's like that go like I am witnessing like their birth certificate like happening. Mm-hmm. And, like, I've seen, like, the death certificate happening. So it's, like, it's so weird being on, like, opposite ends of the spectrum because it's, like, I always think, like, I'm part of that. It's so crazy. She's wild. It's just weird. Life and death is weird. It is really weird. That's but why it you happens, should just go crazy. Real. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you gotta snap while you're here. Yeah. It's a while out. Just do everything you can. Hop on that plane, take that flight, yeah. sign that facts. piece, mm-hmm. sing your facts. heart out, do whatever. Bro, yeah. 100%. There's some times where I'm like, I'm not doing nothing or anything. I'm like, yo. Sometimes, like, randomly, I'll get in deep thought. I'm like, if I was like, 89 years old, 90 years old, I'm on my deathbed, like, looking back at, like, damn, why didn't you go on that? Or why didn't you do that? It's like, yo. I'm here right now. I'm dead. I was 26. Like, let me fucking do shit. It's like when I start getting mad deep in thought. I'm like, yo, let me fucking do shit. I'm 26. Yeah, I'm only yeah. 20s. Like, oh that's like, out okay. here. Um, what was it? 2020. Like, when COVID first came around and it was a hot topic and then everything shut down. <laughs> hot topic. <laughs> I was supposed to hop on a plane to go to Paris and London by myself. Right before it? Right before it. Damn. Damn. Tickets right. bought? Tickets bought. Wow. Airbnb booked. I had the spot where I was sitting on the rooftop and looked at the Eiffel Tower. Like, yeah. I was out there. That's crazy. And literally, just like, all right. It's like you're not Canceled going. Off. You have a couple more years until you can figure this out and go back. But like the plan was to go out there and just like experience life, meet people, figure stuff out. Like Word. going to an area where like you don't know anyone. Hey, Word. I'm Paul. I make clothes. I take pictures. What's up? Word. Cause like at the end of the day, like that's how you figure yourself out. That's what you figure out what you want from yeah, life. Yo. And then you can just like yeah, speak on those stories when you get when you're like 80 years old. You're like, yo, I remember back in the day when we did this. Hundred like, percent. Mm-hmm. My dad tells me all these stories, and I'm like. Like, I go to work and I have conversations with people sometimes. I'm like, yo, I really did that. Like, I met Pharrell. And, like, I was over here at um, this place and they asked me to take my picture for this. So, like, I was backstage at this concert and we ran to this person. I'm like, mm-hmm. yo, like, how do I 
keep getting myself into these situations. Word. Life is good. Like, Word. And I have to keep reminding myself that from time to time. Like, yo, like, I'm late on that bill. Man, I met Lil Uzi. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't matter. Like, and it's like, you don't want to glorify people, but it's like, there it is. Like, you're doing things that you never thought you would do. Like, you think mm-hmm. in high school when I was failing my classes, I was thinking like, yo, I'm going to go to California, yeah. just casually meet these people, mm-hmm. get to take a picture with this person, or mm-hmm. get to have a conversation. Trinidad James and something like, yo, bro, I love your sneakers, and that shirt is fire. Like, Love that. Like, I have pictures of my phone that I just swipe through sometimes, and it's like, I'm chilling. I like, did that. Yeah. I'm chilling. Yeah. Like, I got pictures of Made in Tokyo with custom t-shirts that I made. I'm like, this is dope. Yeah, <laughs> that is dope. Good shit. Oh, that's important bro, to be grateful that, for that. Yeah, yeah that, you know? that man's side is so fire. Like, just mm-hmm. having that, like, mentality, just understanding. Mm-hmm. That's so dope. Love that. Mm-hmm. Did you guys answer the Would You Rather? Did anyone answer I don't know. That? I forgot we were doing Would You Rather. I mean, my ancestors. You mean my ancestors? My ancestors. Yeah, I think that's cool, too. Just to kind of have that knowledge. Yeah. But Definitely. also to meet what, like you were saying, like, the tea? Yeah. what's going on in the future of my life yeah. after I after I'm gone? What did everybody do? What is everybody? My great great grandchildren? What they doing? Oof. It yeah, reminds no, me of the weird. Lion King when um, Simba was talking to his dad through the tree. He was oh like, he's like, yo, everything good, man? <laughs> you everything good, man? <laughs> he said, man, you a king. Just just act like it. And you just love right. it. Just act like it. Basically, that's shit. how you gotta move. Yeah. You gotta move like you kings and queens. Mm-hmm. Facts. That's a big fact. Oh, we're still here. All right, let's get into one more would you rather. Let's do it. Oh, this is a little better. <laughs> a little lighter. <laughs> would you rather... All right. Would you rather <laughs> always hit a green light in traffic or never stand in a line again? That green light. Definitely yeah, green imagine light. never hitting green lights, but... Never yeah, how lights. often am I in a line? And I really... I mean, lines are annoying. But green lights been getting it. Oh, I'm definitely stand. picking that green light. I think I, I, I think lines are more annoying to me. Yeah, Bro, I, was, green, I was thinking yo, that too. Red I lights. A red light. I have a red light on my way to work. No lie, I'm probably there, sitting there for like a minute, and like, there's nobody. I'm dead ass just sitting there by myself. No cars coming, and the light literally will not turn for like a minute. <laughs> it is the slowest minute, I swear. And I'm just like, there's no lie. There's times where I'll take a right hand turn and then another right hand turn to go straight. I'm like, I can't. I, this minute is so damn long. There's no one in sight. I'm the only one here. Oh so I'm God. definitely taking that fucking light, bro. Just <laughs> yeah, for real. I be getting so impatient. I'm like, there's no way that I'm just sitting here right now. Not a damn car. And it's not like one time two times dead ass like every other day this happens yeah, <laughs> like this is so annoying. annoying dog and it's on my yeah. way there and on my way back home i can't do shit about it yeah so i'm picking that green light because that's just annoying and fuck See, a line uh so during covid like the first couple months i taught myself how to wire my car for a sound system like electrical work mm. so i have a sound like decent sound system in my car those green lights i'll be just bumping the whole way just chilling it's like yeah. <laughs> got future on on, on blast, on blast. Chilling, it's like, those green lights just flying through them the music just keep going you feel like a Word. gangster <laughs> yeah fuck a red light i know fuck a red light but fuck lines I, how yeah, often are you in lines, lines though lines. i don't know but the times that i'm in lines i don't want to like, be in the line oft- so yeah i can i like i i, I can be in a red light i you hate know, lines what makes me want to say line is when we went back from the airport and on um, to the <laughs> we went to DR and we went come back from DR. That line bro. was legitimately the worst thing I've, ever. I've never like <laughs> felt such anger <laughs> raging through my body. It was body. horrible. It was literally horrible. What? what? It was the line. It, First for, of all, can we talk about the like physical? TSA or what? No, the airport. <laughs> literally it just is the a- airport fucking tiki hut have you ever been to dr in the dominican nah, republic uh-huh. it's hot you're sweating and it's a tiki hut with one ceiling fan <laughs> at the top <laughs> so you're sweating dripping and there's so many people working but yet the line is going nowhere, nowhere. literally nowhere just to check your bags like just to get your fucking ticket your boarding pass and then i oh my god <laughs> oh my god we got there right there's mad like ropes like for you know the lines or whatever and i go like to go on like because i think flying jet blue we find the jet blue line and the guy goes no 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 no, you got to do this like i don't know it was like a like a survey which we had to get tested coming back for covid obviously mm-hmm. um so i guess it was like to like protest that like we tested negative but like i had to go on the qr code go to the website fill out and like it was like a 30 minute process because there was no fucking internet connection that's how it was in mexico <laughs> wow. it was the nuts. worst 
And then when we got on the line, the line took another two hours. It, it was horrible. It really was actually horrible. Like, good thing we were there early. That never happens at a red light, so. I'm saying. <laughs> no, I know. That's the I'm only saying. thing. But like I said, that doesn't happen often. That was like one every five years. And flying out. <laughs> Newark was pretty Yeah, no, Newark too. was also really That's crazy. crazy. Newark but like, I packed. hit that green light every day. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. But I, those, you know, those lines are really annoying. <laughs> No, so I, yeah, the only time I was in lines line. is like for like Six Flags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking yeah, about like, like how I would go to the parks, parks more because I think yeah. about yeah, the lines when I say yeah, like walk past parks. But like think about driving in the city, you're not hitting any red lights, you just go. They don't like a line for the bar. But I'm just saying anything. Like, it's not a line to the bar. <laughs> that shit is what Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick a line because I'm I'm out frustrated or in the, the cold. bathroom line when you really really right, have to right, pee right yeah, so yeah I'm frustrated oh. yeah y'all got yeah it. lines you get mixed emotions but like, red lights the ones in Georgia are fucking ridiculous you'll be at those bitches <laughs> for like three minutes literally like those are bad I just hate red lights and I can You're understand it then, but here nah, especially when there's lights. nothing going on that's the worst <laughs> you should just yeah. run it I dare you. I, I take the right and the right. No, That's what I do. Just run it. No, just I have a friend right. that no, he's <laughs> actively a runner. Like he Stop. Red light, bet. <laughs> so That's scary. I'm like, that bro, scary. you bugging. Yeah. It's scary. Weird. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. There's pros and cons. I mean, there's pros to having eat, picking either, but like I said, that line I don't do often. Yeah. That light I do every day. I understand. <laughs> that one minute light. That fucking one minute that light, one minute. though. Why don't you meditate at the light? Should. That's, yeah. That's a good one, right? Tell me how. Your goal. Let, nice. Let me know meditate how, how, meditate. Meditate. Like, how do I meditate just, just, just sit there just and appreciate. I, I do. <laughs> I do sit there. <laughs> but you sit there in <laughs> aggravation and light. anger. Oh, just I'm sit just sitting there. Let it melt through your body. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys are too damn much. <laughs> I'm gonna complain. Let me complain for a minute, okay? I need it in my life. I need to complain for a minute, and it's at that light. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes, like, cause Jay told me one time, he's like, you know, there's like a trigger for the light. If you pull up, sometimes it changes. I'll be there backing up. Five minutes late. <laughs> I didn't know that. Now some some lights do have the trigger, but the one that I said at does not. It's so annoying. I swear it doesn't have a trigger. It, that has like a time. I swear it doesn't have a trigger. It's so annoying. I should get, I swear, that shit gets me annoying. I'm not meditating wow, at that dumbass This dumb is ass the light. shit that grinds Mike's gears. This is what puts me point light, seven. Where's your mental <laughs> at? Nine. Eight point nine. <laughs> I'm getting fucking tired. He's so frustrated. <laughs> he gets up the car, stands door, walks off. Yeah, right. He's well, done with this. Still shit. at an eight point nine. <laughs> I'm fucking weak. Uh. I'm leaving the car here. Walking home. <laughs> yeah, for real. I'm gonna try to meditate. I have work tomorrow. I'll meditate. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Just feel the moment. I don't know just, how you want me to though. Present. Literally, like you're gonna sit there and be like, mm, "Fuck this light," but like when you get the thought, I'm just say podcast. <laughs> Think about the podcast. Oh, I'm telling you, God. going there, have some future. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I be bumping like NLE. That's the only thing that keeps me going. Some fucking wild shit oh that's bumping God. in my stereo. Car cooking, you gonna be like this? <laughs> yeah. Same. <laughs> Word. Uh, Ask my girlfriend. She, no one could tell me nothing when I'm driving my musical. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Be bumping my day. I'll be in the car like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What? I love huh? it. Sing with me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's dumb funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck it. All right, let's get into these questions. Let's do it. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's a memory you keep holding on to and why? Everyone always, after any question, it's always like, who's going to answer? <laughs> <laughs> Who got it? <laughs> Does anyone have an answer? I don't know. I got a recent one. So, my apartment. Um, I was, my parents, it's okay, so, backstory, seven kids, my two parents, nine of us in a house in Whisper Hills, so, we had three bedrooms in there, so we had to share a room. Mm-hmm. I finished sharing a room at the age of 26, so, um, I stopped, my parents were like, look, your sister needs her own room, she's getting out of age, like, mm-hmm. you start to look to find a spot, so I'm like, I right, bet. And I'm looking around, looking around, I can't find anything, the places that I'm finding, they're, um, not what I'm looking for, they're a little bit on the older side, I'm being bougie about the whole process. So, like, literally, it was, like, a couple of weeks. I'm, like, literally, like, hitting the ground hard, going to Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to all the Zillow, Trilla, all those, those apps, not finding anything. And then on Facebook, I find this one post for this apartment in New Windsor. And I'm talking to Jay's sister, Amber. I'm, like, yo, like, I really hope I get this apartment. Like, I called her. She said she just set me up. I can come see her on Monday. And she's, like, look, if it's for you, 
it's gonna just click. There's nothing about it, it's just gonna click. If it's meant for you, you're gonna get it. So Monday comes, I get dressed up, I go to the apartment to see the place, and it's gonna sound crazy, but I walk into the apartment and I saw myself in the apartment. Word. Mm. Like I walked <laughs> in and I could see the kitchen area, kind of like an open concept. So like the kitchen, I could see it furnished, and I could see myself in the kitchen cooking. Like, and I'm not thinking anything crazy about it, anything like that. I'm just like, yo, I dead see myself. Mm -hmm. Word. Like physically in front of me, I'm like, there I am cooking. So time goes by, whatever, and uh, I'm like, yo, like I really want to be in this place. Like I'm not a troublemaker. I know my credit score is not where it needs to be, but like, look, I make a lot of money at my job. I, I'm a hard worker. I do Uber Eats, DoorDash. Mm -hmm. Like, I got like six sources of income if I really grind it out. Yeah. So she's like, he's going to love to hear that. Like, let's get the paperwork done and we get into the landlord and see what he says. So then she texted me a couple of days later. I think I, it was like um, Saturday. I think I had the paperwork in. By like the following, like two days later, she's like, he got you. You're in. Oh, Love yeah. that. I'm like, where? She's like, yeah, you're in. Um, make the payments if we can get you the keys. And this lady was going so hard for me. She came to my job to do the paperwork. I was working a shift. No. She said, come on to the parking lot. We're going to do the paperwork in my car. <laughs> so we did the paperwork in her front seat. I'm signing all stuff. She hands me the keys. She's like... You're good to go. Oh, oh, man. Man. So, I love like, it. That afternoon, me and Jay went to the apartment to go check it out. I'm like, bro, like, I'm Shit here. Me. This is home. Yeah, like, I'm chilling, man. This is it. Oh, love after it. all these months, after all these years of sharing a room with my brother Devon, like, I'm here. And it was just crazy. It was like, like Amber said, like, if it's for you, you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. Word. And the fact that yeah. I saw myself in the apartment yeah. was just like, yeah, it's mine. Manifested it. Yeah, it's a fact. Word. Wow. But, like, my brain manifested it for me. Like, I didn't even have to it's think safe. about it too hard. That's like, dope. That's so dope. Love that. Mm -hmm. What about you? You got an answer? I forgot what the question was. You never got an answer. I was in his story. What was the question? <laughs> I asked a good one. Uh, yeah, what's a good. memory you keep holding on to and why? One that always like pops up for me is like, it was like when I was eight years old and we, the night, the morning that we left for New York, like there's this stop, there's this um, street light right across the street from my grandma's house. It leaves like a, I don't know, like a square light <clears> mark, <throat> whatever on the road. And I just remember like looking at it in the rear view mirror the entire time wow that's super dope like why am i in the car <laughs> yeah. with my mom right now yeah. i don't know i just remember that wow and like how would life be different if i didn't come to new york because i remember just not liking it when i came here i was gonna i was gonna ask i mean you were young and then mike made it so much better because he welcomed me with i arms. hated simone <laughs> <laughs> i also didn't like you yeah. i hated simone yeah for both, sure yeah it was great coming here it was awesome <laughs> everyone was so happy <laughs> and didn't curse Welcome to Chester. And, uh, <laughs> and now I'm tainted because of every single one of you. Was that yeah. a happy memory when you like when you like saw that, like when you were a kid? Like were you like happy? That no, was no, no. But you, you know, like, that was there's like those things in your house that you like. I don't know. Like you know, like where the cracks are in the floor. Like mm -hmm. those kinds of like the random shit. Mm -hmm. Like, and so I just remember focusing on that. Like I'm never gonna see that again when you're wow. eight years old. I'm like oh, I'm never gonna like whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I would go back and visit obviously when all my breaks were. But I don't know, I was just being a I guess a dramatic eight year old in my small little world of like <laughs> going from this is all I know That's to That's actually crazy. No, that is, New yeah. York. Mm -hmm. Word. And like I just think like, because I was like a I don't know, psychotic child where I would be like, Mom, stop and get out of the car and just go run back to grandma, but like I never <laughs> never did that. Word. But imagine if I did. But imagine what if Because Gina would have came, y'all know that. She'll be good. Wow. That you can make like a good poem out of that, I feel. That's a fact. Right? That made me think of an art project from uh, high school. Uh, Miss E had us paint out our like worst dreams or like nightmare. And we had to like draw a picture, then do an abstract about it. And that was like spot on. Love that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and you were talking about how I never have one. What do you mean? <laughs> because Mike is so mean to me all the time. <laughs> do you have one? Um, uh, I have a depressing one, but I don't love wanna, that. Like, change I love depression. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the happy one I could say is when I got engaged, right? I could say um, that because it really is Jen. What? Would you, what? I was gonna kind of low key say that too. Okay, well you can say. Your no, I have another one, but well, you can say just, go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Huh? You guys get along so well. I maybe we should like get married or something. Yeah, maybe we should. That's we can talk about it later. Good idea. Yeah, yeah. Um. But yeah, that obviously is a memory that I hold on to. But the one that 
it just like it hits home when COVID hit and I was in the nurse world yeah and I had like the first guy that like like so we went to the floor and like some people were there for a week or they would go to the ICU or whatever but like this one guy was there for like a long time so like I knew him and then like the one point that like I knew it was just not looking good and like he looked at me and he was like am I gonna die yeah. and I was like damn yo that's hard like I was like yeah. in my and like I dead ass knew like cause there's like there's like an intuition that like you just know like like some people like obviously are, like dramatic like they're like oh, man, I feel like I'm dying and it's mm-hmm. like no no it's mm-hmm. okay you're gonna be okay right. but like there's people like they know mm-hmm. when they're like not okay mm-hmm. and like you believe that yeah. and you know what to do but like I remember that one time like that guy he's like Am I going to die? And I'm like, I couldn't answer him because I didn't want to say no because, like, I knew it was not going to be okay. So that's, like, one thing that, like, I like I remember his voice. I can be, like, I'm, like, scared. Well, did you, so you didn't say anything? I just, like, held his hand and I was like, it's going to be okay. But, like... Oh, God, if you would have done that to me, I'd have been like, damn, fuck, I knew it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's just, like, what, like... Damn. I don't know. It's it's hard because you, no, you I, have to be yeah. there for them, you know, yeah. because especially because their their family couldn't be there. So it's like, we were his closest family that he had, the staff, you yeah. know, at it that really moment. Sucks. Yeah. Damn. So, sorry, I didn't mean to say it's okay. okay. No, I was that's gonna the answer. No, 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 that no, was really okay. the first thing that came to my mind because it's like I just remember like like the the fear in his voice, mm-hmm. and it's like I feel like that's what differentiates the two is like when you know someone because it's like obviously everyone's scared but like that like true like guttural feeling of mm-hmm. I'm dying like it happens you just gotta think like, like at a time where like they weren't able to have their family at least you were able to be some type of like comfort yeah. to a degree to somebody who like right. you don't necessarily yeah. know them but they were able to still take in your energy and say like hey like I know things ain't looking yeah. too right but we're here yeah and, and that was is. that was the thing is that like that made it hard but it was also kind of rewarding like mm-hmm. knowing that like we were that sense of comfort to them because we knew them because they were there for so long, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was, like, afterwards, like, if they would pass, like, talking with their family on the phone was hard, but it was also, like, I felt like an extended piece of the family, Mm -hmm. you know? So. Word. Word. I don't even want to say mine now because I was upset. I knew I was going to sing the shit, but I wanted to go last. That's why I wanted to go last. (laughs) Mine is a little, like, uh... Oh, haha. Ha. <laughs> but I, honestly, it's not something that I hold on to, but something that makes me happy when I think about it is like playing football at Syracuse Dome, like in high school. Like that, like to me, is like a memory that's like super fire. Like my team literally made it to the state championship and we played. Like mm-hmm. it's a great, like, you know, like a mm-hmm. memory that I can hold. Like that's super dope to me. So, like, that's like, I, I, like I said, I don't like think about it all the time, like, oh my goodness, high school football, you know, but like. I remember seeing you running on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Big, the, the big screen. The big screen. Yeah. That's fine that you guys have those stories. Like you guys went to high school together, so like, mm-hmm. you guys have kids down the road. You're yeah. Like, Yo, I remember seeing dad on the screen. Yeah. Around, but, it's, there, like, but it's funny because like we didn't date in high school. Yeah. So, so yeah. it's like in high yeah. school, I thought your mom was just a smart girl that I used to cheat on, like cheat on her homework and shit. Like <laughs> I didn't really know your mom. I just <laughs> I didn't really know. She her was just a smart girl in school. Did not know me. <laughs> But at all word uh, that is one of them, and then obviously like the other one a, a recent memory that I will always hold on to is proposing which was like a build up of things so it all and it all worked out so it was good how'd you feel when you did it I, everything was just like <laughs> 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 yeah I felt so much better that I didn't have to think about it like my mentality was like cause like we were on vacation I, like I was enjoying the vacation I was trying not to think about it but I obviously had to like do something like it had to happen so I'm like damn he did so good like not showing it cause I generally I was, had no yo. idea <laughs> Mike Bro. I know Mike is focused <laughs> on just not thinking, not, not thinking about it not thinking about it her friend her friends helped me so much like yeah. I had her like one of her friends like on it on board like day one I'm like bro I need your help <laughs> because if I'm thinking about it, she's mm-hmm. going to know. So like, I need you to think about yeah. this. So I don't have to think about this. Yeah. And it worked out. It was out. so funny. Cause like, I always told myself, like I would know. Cause he literally, like I like, he like blinks too fast. So I'm like, what's going on? Like I like, I like know like his thoughts. So it's like, it was just so weird to like, I was completely caught off guard. So it's like, I feel like in the video it looked like I was like saying no because I'm like what the f- <laughs> what do you mean like you what serious? are you doing like what is kidding? happening yeah yeah I missed the mark <laughs> yeah but no it was really good yeah it was good so that's the memory that recently 
Word. All right, let's get into the next card. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> this one's this one's a lot more fun. <laughs> if you were a superhero, what would your name be, and what would your three powers be? You get three powers, and you get a name. Jesus Christ! Three powers. Three powers and a name. I don't know what my name would be, but I know already know my first power is teleportation. I was gonna see that. <laughs> That's already number one. You I don't give a fuck. Teleportation. Previous episode. <laughs> <laughs> that I was always talking about. That. Nah, teleportation to me is legitimately the most convenient thing in the world. I can be anywhere and everywhere, like that. That's so fire. I won't have to wait at that fucking green light. <laughs> that red light. I would just teleport to work. I had no idea. That shit is so annoying. That could also be a good poem. The red light. The red light. In your, in and I'll just teleport past it. You need to write about that. The red light Talk about life. the pain, Michael. Yeah. Talk about the pain. About it. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I go? I go? <laughs> That's funny. I'm weak. Weird. Uh, yeah, so teleportation would for sure be one. I would think... I don't know. Uh, Three is hard. Three is hard. Yeah, that is a lot. I would. I think moving things with my mind would be super dope. Yo, Mike, get out of my brain, bro. Sorry, bro. <laughs> yeah, moving All things. Right, say the next thing I'm gonna say. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. If I have teleportation, it's like, what else do I really right, need? Right, right. Like, I don't well, need that's super what I'm speed thinking, right? And then I was going through like invisibility. I don't need is, that. Is that. Right. I was gonna I say. I have teleportation. I don't. Okay, so shuffle through that. <laughs> flying. We have teleportation. I don't need flying. <laughs> do you got? You have? Would you have any? I'm trying to think. So my favorite TV show when I was young was Heroes. Mm -hmm. And they had all different types of crazy powers. So, like, mm -hmm. teleportation would definitely be one. Like, Nightcrawler from X-Men. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Um, what else? I guess a time control thing, right? That's so, like, to me, that's, like, cr imagine, like, being yeah. able to control time. Yeah. I feel like I'm fucking like, everything. <laughs> nah. I'm, I'm ripple affecting everyone in the world. I'm <laughs> controlling time. This is my world. This is my <laughs> world. <laughs> <laughs> the butterfly effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> Maybe I feel like maybe like breathe underwater, talk to animals. I probably would talk to animals. That'd probably be mine. Also, TBT to one of the pods. Yeah, Amanda's episode. Yeah. That was yeah. funny. I'm like, bro, am I am I like invading on you like your privacy? <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Like, I'll go back inside of the house. I have the feel. <laughs> yeah, those are definitely my my powers, and my name would probably be like. I don't know, Mr. Greenlight. I'm so Mr. Greenlight! Like, he's Green stuck in a tree! <laughs> That's mine, bro. I got my three powers of my Go name. Right Say ahead. less. That's my shit. Teleportation. I can con move shit, and I can talk to animals. Love it. I'm going to take out the talk to animals thing. Yeah, you talk should. To I just should. Yeah, I'm going to switch it. To the time thing. Word. Controlling time. Yeah. So moving shit with my mind, teleporting, and control. Like being able to like rewind, fast forward, pause, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Just that yourself or cool. everyone? Um, <clears throat> I thought about it. So like time travel kind uh, of thing. Uh, yeah, maybe. You know, time go to the past, go to the future. Cool. Reverse the situation. I want to meet the Pause, universe. like you know, the click, like the remote. Yeah. Whatever options are on the remote, <laughs> yeah. switch the channel. Yeah, you I know? think time travel would be a good one. That would be sick. That'd be sick, you know, because I could just go back in time and be like, all right, what did I do? I really want to see what the dinosaurs look like. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel like the textbooks, come on. You really come think on. they look like that? I heard I mean, something maybe. that dinosaurs had feathers. Isn't there, like, no way to prove that? Well, I don't know. I'm not a I don't know scientist, either, but, but I'm just saying. I told them they, was, uh, they might have feathers. Imagine if I mean, yeah, right, birds <laughs> came first. Yeah. You know, sharks been here longer than dinosaurs. That's crazy. When I found that out, I was literally mind blown. I was like, "There's no <laughs> way." I did. Like, no lie, mind. I was like in like middle school. I was watching Shark Week, and they're like, "Yeah, the dinosaurs are just mad smart, and they just swam mad down far, and, and like, they no knew way. to come back." Yeah, they're like, "Yo, sharks are dead as like you know, older yeah. than dinosaurs." So I'm like, "There's no yeah. way how they still here." So because they say like, life essentially comes from water. <clears throat> It's nice. yo. The ocean is the scariest thing in the world. That's that's something I could dead us talk about for yo, forty five minutes. Water, yeah, <laughs> water is lit. It's great. Think about the ocean. The ocean that is dead us so wild me. to me, bro. Absolutely it's so terrifies wild. Terrifies me. My um, my family they have um the PS four like the the, the VR. VR yeah. There's like this like shark, Ooh. like the shark like cage diving thing. I had to take the thing yeah, off. That's like, scary, I, bro. I freaked out. Freaked out because it's like you're. Just look and there's 
Sharks. <laughs> that shit is oh, scary. Man. Oh, yeah, man. now the ocean is wild. The, the thought scary. that, like, we know, like, 5% of it, and uh-huh. it deadass is, like, 80% of the world is just the scariest thing in the world. Like, I want to go skydiving so bad. There's definitely I will not mermaid go deep people down there. Oh, yeah, like, that shit is scary. I agree with that. What'd you say? Yeah. Skydiving, I would be down for it. Yeah. Deep sea diving, absolutely not. Yeah, I would deep sea dive. Deep sea dive and not be able to come back up to breathe if one of your equipment <laughs> fails. After I saw that movie with the, I must girl die, with the shark, that is my time. <laughs> Word. She went into the cage and the cage. Bro, I, couldn't the ocean is just I couldn't. I couldn't even watch the trailers. Nope. I would turn turn the channel if I ever saw the commercial for that. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I just do not. Oh my god, I cannot. Someone, what's your name? What's your superhero name? SJ um, Soul. Captain Jazz. <laughs> Captain Jazz. Oh, cool. That's kind of oh, cool. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Solid, right? Metal, metal blues. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a call. <coffee. laughs> Have a good day. You guys got any? What you? What you? You already said teleport, right? Yeah, teleportation. Um, indestructible. Ooh. Like I want to be able to like jump off buildings. Like I'm not that kind of person. 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 I'm not that Oof, my mm. that would fuck me up if I could read everyone's mind. That would be like, my brain would be go crazy. So I'm already overthinking. <laughs> so like, if I just yeah. know what you're thinking already, like, yeah. I'm like, All right, I'm gonna overthink I, this. Yeah. I know what it yeah. is. That's facts. That is Bye. facts. Yeah, <laughs> word. That yeah, is facts. I yeah. don't think I could do that because if somebody was like, she's weird, I would like, cry. <laughs> I would just like, cry. See, at this point in my life, I'm like. <laughs> I'm fully fine with cutting relationships. It's like, yeah. if you're not with me, I'm not with you. Yeah. Like, be good. That Wait. would be good to, to read out what people are actually thinking. You know? Yeah, that'd be crazy. Been there, done that. Oh. <laughs> that. Seriously. Word. What's your name? Uh, P. Sign P. Captain P. Yeah, Captain P. Captain P. Wow. What's your three? I have no name. I don't know. <laughs> Nurse Lurks! Yes. <laughs> Nurse Lurks! <laughs> Nurse Lurks! <laughs> Nurse Lurks! Um, I think I would want to, like, I just think shape shifting would be cool, like, to be able to, That's like, so um, That's some mystique wow, some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just be able to, like, turn into, like, whatever I want. That's pretty That'd cool. That'd be cool. That'd be super dope. Uh, Invisible. I think I would like to be invisible just to kind of like mess with people. That's a crazy combination. Like Shapeshift it. and invisible. And invisible. <laughs> yeah, I'll fuck your whole. Brain yeah, yeah, your whole life up. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I want to steal teleportation. That is cool. Steal it. Everyone can teleport, no, baby. Teleportation is just fire. It's you just know, so like, elite. Just how could it? Yeah. Like, like, we know how difficult it is to transport. Period. Right now, you know. You'd even be crazy just assassin. <laughs> yeah, right. Elite assassin right there. Like, like I don't like running. Like, if I could just get there quickly, like, you know? Yeah. Like, just even, like, from here to the bottom, pop, pop, like, right. get my side yeah, and come back. Yeah, the travel time, me. everything. Teleportation yeah. is literally just yeah, elite. Yeah, I think I'll pick that one, too. It's elite. Did everyone pick teleportation? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to us. Yeah. We're all yeah. teleport. Yeah, we're all out right now. <laughs> all yeah. of us. That's a universal right in uh, the new world. Yeah. <laughs> the superpower world. Weird. The metaverse. The metaverse. Yeah, if I can't teleport in the metaverse, I don't want it. <laughs> You probably can, right? And I'm sure you could. I'm sure there's a way. Search whole, Mike's house. The whole thing bugs me out. Go now. Go now. <laughs> I know. The whole metaverse thing bugs me out. I know. Yeah, I know. no. Some Black Mirror. It's going to be Black Mirror. We're going to literally know, live in a Black Mirror world. And I think they haven't come up with a new Black Mirror because we're living it. <laughs> exactly like, oh, shit. Right like, now. what's going on? Like, they thought of everything, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you guys want a season five? We'll I'm sure they can think of something more. We'll turn on the news. <laughs> yeah. That's dumb funny. You got COVID and metaverse. Take it. <laughs> you yeah. got it. You got to deal with this for the next yeah, seven years of your life. Now? Yeah. That shit is dumb funny. That's crazy. You so said you can't get sick in the metaverse. <laughs> Stay ass home. <laughs> that shit I can't crazy. even handle that. Just the thought of. So is it like, vir- is it like, like virtual, virtual reality? reality? Is, is that what essentially what it is? Because oh. I'm just like, thinking about everybody that has like comorbidities. You know, like you have to take your medicine, but you're going to take your medicine if you're in the metaverse the whole day. You know what I mean? So if you're like home health nurses. Just to take care of you the whole day while you're in the metaverse. That's a fact. Fucking in Hawaii or some shit. Maybe it's definitely going to get addictive. Like, I see a lot of people, like, 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 as it is, already with the whole, like, concept of NFTs and the way that stuff is going, like, Mm -hmm. we're like, we're making something out of nothing and making profit off of it. And then essentially, like, all these companies are tapping into that that market and they're going into the metaverse and saying, all right, we're selling this now and here. Like, Mm -hmm. you can buy these $300 Gucci's in the metaverse, like, Bro, I can't wear these in real life. Like, what am I doing with a <laughs> Facebook avatar weird. pair of sneakers? Like, but I, I could see people like trying to like, essentially, like, what happened in Black Mirror. 
people are going to want to escape their day to day because once again we're in a crazy world right now mm-hmm. and they're going to get addicted to it and it's going to be their, their life I mean if you think about it on a smaller scale that's what like video games are like people buy that shit in 2K like let me buy sneakers in 2K and like it's literally just a virtual game and you're just, you're buying your real money it's the same concept but I it's am, just yeah, you're just making it more real I am proud to say that in the years that I've been playing video games I probably bought Two um, packs. I the entire 100% time. I'm, I'm right there with you, Paul. I also do not really spend my money on games. Like the most I've spent is probably like five dollars overall on everything. Like, and that's I, only if I don't have enough points to buy something. Like, <laughs> I got to pay extra two dollars, extra hundred <laughs> points to, to buy the battle pass. Yeah, but like people, also, but like people do it. You know what I mean? Like they will buy extra things. Like even like you think of Fortnite, it's just like, yo, I gotta buy this to get this upgrade. It's like yeah. it's the same thing. It's the same concept. Like. I get the it's basic a virtual black guy purchase. skin in every game, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> if he looks like me, I am all for it. I'm not no paying week. no money. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Damn. Bro, this has been a dope pod. That's a fact. We've been, oh, well, it's like an hour, a little over an hour. This love it. Cool. I love it. Appreciate yeah. you coming on. No, thank you for having me. Word. So we conclude every episode by saying our goals for the week. So what is something you want to accomplish major minor by next week so by next friday what's something that you want to accomplish so would you like to go first i gotta finish a verse for a song by wednesday oh wednesday that's oh that's not that's a good amount of time to finish it you got you have anything down or are you gonna yeah i just need the words got word. the melody got the vibe need the words word is you said there's a verse a chorus what is it it's a hook well it's a bridge and a hook word Bucci. Oh, love that. Hi. Big Bucci. Good shit. Heard you. Yeah. Wow. Word. Todd Bill's part. Trying to get Nurse Lurus on there or what? <laughs> yeah, yo. You trying to hear You trying to spit? <laughs> yeah. Just give me like five months ago. <laughs> That's At not least. funny. <laughs> you got to write a poem about what it was like <clears throat> to be a nurse in COVID. I, and then we'll turn it into a rep. Oh, okay. No, we'll turn yeah. it into a rep. Okay, love that. Great idea. That's a good goal. What, you, what was your goal last week? Did you fulfill it? Probably, you know, because I just fulfill all my goals. Oh, do you know? Hey, Paul, what's your goal? <laughs> <laughs> um, this week, yes, I have my pre-order for my clothes this week, so the plan is to actually purchase the drop and have it all set so I can get that picked up in the coming weeks and then have my stuff drawn out, at least design-wise, for the fashion show that's going to be in July. Word. Great fucking goal. <laughs> it's a great goal. You got mm-hmm. a goal? Did you fulfill your goal from week five? Was <laughs> <laughs> it train the dogs? <laughs> was it? Yo, you know, know the day, you know, know the time. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was the goal. I definitely did not. Yeah. Those <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> are wild right yeah. now. Yeah, those motherfuckers just, are wild right now. Let's just say that. Uh, my goal. I think, so, I've literally had one week of orientation so far on labor and delivery, but I feel actually, like, good. Like, I feel, like, confident. So I feel like at the end of next week, I would like to be, like, mainly, like, hands-off. Because right now, I'm, like, I'm turned to my preceptor, like, what am I doing? Like, you know, like, asking my questions. So I'd like to be more, like, Autonomous, yeah. Yes. I feel you. Yes. Great goal. Yeah. I actually really don't know my goal for the week. Uh, Get in contact with Russell Clark. So, yeah, that was, well, that was my <laughs> last goal. Oh man, he's out here playing games. He Russell Clark, if you're listening to this, answer business. my email, yeah. please. <laughs> he ain't about his business. Let me tell you what. Ooh, we're Russell. trying to we're trying to give him our business, and he is not contacting I us. I wonder if he has an Instagram. Yeah, we, we should, should add him. him. Yo, Russell, no, watch I, the pod. Yo, Russell, watch hey, the pod. You should. That'd be funny. Russell, it's all in good love. But like, <laughs> it's all good love. I'm trying to give you money, Russell. What is it? We're not mad at you, but like, please come on. This guy's playing games. It's a so the venue we're trying to get for the wedding. Gotcha. He he uh, is the hotel like sales person. Mm. So like he's a hotel right next to the thing. Like he's not our only option, but like from like the outside looking in, the hotel is very nice and we would like to go there. But he's playing games. Like we just want to oh, go and want to so... figure shit out. Yeah, pull up on him. But we did. The, the fuck uh, that pull up. Well, I think no, no but we already talked honestly, about it. We will. We are going yeah. to. We already planned on pulling up We're on him. Trying yeah. to get married. Like, yeah. Yeah. like, yeah, yeah, like No, I know. Yeah, uh, like we her. dead ass planned on yeah. it. But like, like I said, it's not our only option, which is a great thing. Like, if he was yeah. our only option, then I'd be like tight. Like, yeah. we already would have pulled up on him. Because like we, we like the venue in the area, but like his my goal, goal. My, not goal, but like my want want is like the after. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, like, to be able to like have like a good hotel for people to stay if they want to, like, mm-hmm. is like important. Which I get it. 
but like that is a good like we went there and we saw visually and it's like mad really nice, nice. literally like, mad like, nice it looks the nice. castle visually the hotel's a little castle amazing. however they're not getting in, t- in contact with us <coughs> like I, i've emailed him literally twice <coughs> and it's been 10 days we're just going to pull up on him That's so it. we're just going to go going to pull up so, on him. Oh, let me know if but that was my goal. My goal for <laughs> last week literally was to make a move, and was, my head was kind of like, "Yo, I hope it's this shit," but it didn't happen. Yeah, so Russell Clark's games. that's that's my fucking goal, and we're getting it done because I'm pulling up Clark. on him. <laughs> I'm I'm pulling up on him. That's my goal for next week. Right. My next Instagram my next pod, yeah. I will hundred percent either be in contact with him or con- come, yeah, with know. someone. <laughs> if someone knows Russell Clark, tell him to fucking hit us <laughs> up. <laughs> Even though we'll be this Maybe episode will be out. Sucks being ahead, you know? We could be live. <laughs> yeah, we could be live. <laughs> By the time this episode comes out, no, we fucking yeah. hit up Russell Clark. <laughs> we got in contact with We accomplished goals on this <laughs> We accomplished goals. You get shit done. <laughs> we get shit done here. <laughs> Word. All right, so Paul, you want to plug anything? Let us know. Promote whatever you got to say. No, I plug it all. Check my current drop coming out. It's called the Drama Club Drop. It's dropping. It's actually on pre-order right now. It's coming out in the next two weeks. Um, follow me on Instagram, p sign dot p, and then I have my p is p e r dot s o dot n a on Instagram as well. That's where I put all my styling updates, all my clothing drops, and any content that I'm putting out at the time. So, love it. Appreciate you coming on, dog. Yeah. It's been real. Shout out yes. to everyone watching. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Love y'all. Ooh.